<clears throat> Hello, tubers. It's Robert 28, 1979. Uh, I got the KS222 in the shop here. Yeah, I got the tire off. But, it's not for what y'all guys think. There's nothing wrong with the case. Nothing wrong with the rim. The tire, they go flat, they're junk. But, yeah, I got a present in today. I'll let my son kind of roll one into view here, bud. Push it to me. Yeah, that's right. Got me a set of tires up. These are, let me turn where y'all can read them here. 23, 850, 12s. Same size that's on there. Uh, got those, like I said in a previous video. I was ordered the back tires. Say hello, tubers. Hello, hello tubers. Boy, you're dirty. You got ice cream all over your face, bud. But uh, I ordered those. I didn't order them when I said I did. I ended up putting them off. Had other things to take care of first. But that's who I ordered them from. Tucker Tire. They were on the eBay. I gave $133 total for uh, shipping and all for these. So, hey, y'all get out of the way real quick. So what I'm fixing to do is bust these old tires off these rims. Gonna mount those on. And then I gotta go to Lowe's, which is our local hardware store. You know, we got Lowe's. Home Depot, Ace Hardware, and a couple others here. But I like going to Lowe's, which I doubt they'll have what I need, which are these carriage bolts. Boys, put the tires down, please, before you hurt yourself. Um, yeah, get down here. Sorry, I'm making you guys dizzy, but those are the bolts I need to hold these wheel weights. I'll need two more. They're half inch carriage bolts. I'm going to say probably six inches long. I need two more. So I've only got one for each side. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've yet to find three rib style front tires. Since I found some of those, it's getting three rib front tires on it. So, anyways, uh, it's going to be a several part video on this deal. So uh, I'll see y'all guys in the next segment of it. All right, uh, I've got the. Wheels mounted on on the rims on the tractor. Got the wheel, wheel weights back on. I got to buy two more bolts, one for each side. So I got one bolt holding the weights on right now. Oh uh, man, it did raise the clearance on the back tremendously. They look pretty good on there though. I admit though, I kind of wish I had got the the 1050s instead of the 850s, a little wider. But they look good on there. I ain't gonna complain. Boy, my this side is like way down on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Adjust my adjuster. This side is hanging like down. But anyways, I'm fixing to take her outside, and give her a spin, and see how she does dragging this stuff. So uh, fire this old gal up. Uh, maybe later. Back for the last part of this little video. As y'all can see, I've got the moldboard hooked on, got some dirt on her. They did pretty good. Spun them a few times. Not quite would have wanted those up at the local tractor supply. And they've got the um, 23.10.5. Or well, they're 23 10 12s, same tires as these, just a little bit wider, and they were 90 something dollars a piece. I said I bought the set for 130 foot, that included the shipping costs and everything else. <coughs> but yeah, um, I'm real happy with it, so uh, did good. Oh boy, that wind's getting there, getting her out there. Oh, Let's see, was it this tire? I busted down. 
was clean. That tire I busted down. Oh god, did it stink? Had some stagnant water in it. Whoo, boy, they were rotten. I thought my boy had passed some gas or something that stinks so bad, but uh, that rim was kind of got some uh, surface rust inside. Not too bad. This side looked like a brand new rim on the inside, so that was good. It's a little warm. As you can see, it was raining out here earlier. The weather station called for clear winds this this evening, and lo and behold, it freaking rained. Um, I had the wife run outside and cover the seat up. As you can see, the wet spots where they had them throw some cups over the stacks and stuff, but. Get that loose. You can see all the water already sitting down on top of that breather. Unfortunately, I was over in town, over in Canyon, picking my daughter up from her track meet, which got home about 20 minutes ago, and it is now 12:10 at night, or 12:10 the next morning, I guess you can say. But yeah, that's gonna cause some problems. Oh, I ain't got nothing here to soak the water up with. That's lovely. So we're gonna do this stuff. Other fashionable way. Tools lean everywhere. I had a hell of a day today, guys. I mean, between the tires and everything, I just had. Put the upper ball joints in a 2004 Chevrolet pickup. Uh, when you pick up new blades for this deck, you see where I did some pulley repair on this one, which I wanted to get video of, but unfortunately I didn't. I ended up having the center was knocked out, so I had to weld it back together and grind it down smooth. Bought two new batteries, one for this mower, one for that one. Um, man, it's back and forth all day. Wasn't even able to even touch the 646 at all today, but yeah, we're gonna get this water dried up pretty good here. <laughs> Not seen it work too dang well, but you know, that's well enough to. If I get this plate hot enough here, it'll. Help boil some of that water off. Probably not the brightest thing in the world to do, or the smartest. Even though the, you know, underneath this sits the uh, carburetor. But no, it can't be too terribly horribly bad. There is enough space between that top plate and that carburetor. That should be all right. Mm. That's uh, cool. I don't think that camera's picking it up very well, but. I'm not to see what I want off from. Back on the back side here. Well, I might be making a little bit of headway with this here. What I need to do, I just need to go ahead and get this damn thing sealed up and be done. Uh, by sealed up, I'll kind of show you what I mean here. Push that water around. There we go. I'm about to get it all dried up now. Yep. There she goes. She's dried up now. Minus all this here. That don't matter too much. That filter won't let that water go by. I need to drill a little hole in that and let the water drain. But um, that's going to be it there as far as the uh, the video on the tires for the case 222 so if you ain't subscribed subscribe rate my videos comment if you like give me a thumbs up if you like the video i'm sorry for the shakiness well like i said it's uh 
12.15 in the morning now, or still night time, I come to bed, so. But anyway, until the next one, y'all guys, take it easy and have a good one.